has done a great job, and we have total confidence that if you mail in your ballot in Florida, it's going to matter. First at 11, a change of tone from President Trump now strongly endorsing voting by mail, but only here in Florida. Good evening. I'm Lauren Pastrana. Elliot has the night off. The push for voting by mail nationwide has taken on new urgency lately because of the coronavirus pandemic. But a few days since the president called for delaying the election because of potential fraud, he now believes Florida's system works. CBS 4's Ty Russell has our top story at 11. There is no way you can go through a mail-in vote without massive cheating. That was President Trump in this excerpt from the August 3rd episode of Axios on HBO. The next day, the criticism, at least in Florida, was gone. And over a long period of time, they've been able to get the absentee ballots done extremely professionally. Florida is different from other states. He doesn't agree with states like Nevada that just approved a plan to mail a ballot to every registered voter. Here in Florida, you have to request one. Democrats have 1.9 million Floridians signed up to vote by mail in November. That's compared to Republicans who have signed up 600,000 fewer people. Both are racing for more. Governor Ron DeSantis told CBS4 News during an hour-long interview he's confident in a system where people must request a ballot. The model we have where you can request, you don't have to be sick or out, you just, you know, no, no excuse absentee. Uh, I think that that's been successful and I think that it's had integrity. Miami-Dade and Broward are already seeing a record number of mail-in ballot requests for the upcoming August election. With the upcoming surge in mail-in votes in this month's election and in November, Miami-Dade and Broward say the goal is still to turn around results on the actual day of the election. But we'll see how many we get on election day, and that will really be the determining factor on whether or not we have everything in by my goal or if we're still going to be reading those ballots into the night. Miami-Dade Supervisor of Elections Christina White is urging those who are choosing a vote-by-mail ballot to fill it out as soon as possible, not only to help with results, but also to avoid any potential problems. If your signature does not appear to match, we can notify you and give you an opportunity to correct that. A spokesperson for Biden's campaign says in part, time and time again, Donald Trump has shown his lack of reliability and inconsistencies on so many issues important to our community. When it comes to the act of voting, the very core of our democracy, we cannot afford to have inconsistencies that undermine our community's faith and trust in participating in the democratic process. A spokesperson with Broward Elections is also warning people to not give their ballot to so-called ballot collectors. Those are people who are working with a third party or volunteering to collect ballots on behalf of others. He says either deliver it yourself or mail it in. Outside the Miami-Dade Supervisor of Elections Office, I'm Ty Russell, CBS4 News Tonight.